entire road's gone. Jijiksha, Ahmed. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks for everything. Take care. Good morning, internet. It is uh, 20 past 7 in the morning. And welcome back to the channel. Welcome here in Chingeti, Mauritania. I wanted to get going as quickly as possible because it's going to be very hot today again just want to make the most of the early morning when it's not so hot so that's why I was like let's go let's go <laughs> I am on my own again I said goodbye to Ahmed and now it's time to ride alone again my plan is to well I think I said it in the last video to start making my way to the Senegal border. I won't reach it today because it's far but today I should hopefully get pretty far. My plan is to ride about 450 kilometers to Chichiksha. Uh, Chichiksha is also kind of out there and part of today's route will be unpaved mostly the beginning and then at some point I'll hit uh, the paved road. It's actually a very decent gravel road. <laughs> Best gravel road I've seen in Mauritania so far. I'm now getting closer to a place called Meherith. And Meherith is a oasis. Wow. <laughs> Look at this. Can you see it yet? Let me navigate these rocks. Wow, look at this. I go descent into Meherith. What an amazing sight, all these palm trees, isn't it? A true oasis. I even see water. Wow, that's that's something you don't see a lot in the deserts of Mauritania. Notice that a lot of the a lot of the houses are like these sort of spheres. You see, like this one. Hello. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> wow. Fantastic. Even after the oasis, it's still pretty green here. So you look at all this grass or... Well, I don't really know what plants they are. I have reached the paved road. <laughs> But I think I'm going to encounter still a lot of sand because these sand dunes are moving and they don't care whether there's an asphalt road in between or not. So let's see. So it's similar to Chinggeti. You see just the sand dunes. They just overtake a town. They don't care. Oh, here we have the Shandarmi. Salam. Ça va bien? Et vous? Fish? Huh? Venant de Dakar? For Dakar? Venant de Atar, Atar. Ah, no, Chingeti. 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 Et aujourd'hui, Tijika. Tijika. Fish? Allemand? Hollandaise. Hollandaise. Oui. C'est Oui. Oui. All right, that was that. What was I saying? <laughs> yeah, that the sand just flows over these towns, and I found that really fascinating in Chigeti too. That there's just underneath the buildings and underneath that sand, there's just older buildings. And then the sand took over, and then they're building again on top of that. I mean, you can lay asphalt, <laughs> but the sand just doesn't care. Doesn't care. Wow, look at that. Unbelievable. That's such a strange sight. Oh, and the Holland Road. There's big sand dunes right here in between the mountains. What used to be a river somewhere in the past just now has sand dunes. Let's see if I can get another good view. Here, wow, that is insane. Look at that. What a sight. Oh my, look at this. Half the road is completely collapsed. Oh, on this side as well. The entire road's gone. That is insane. Let's have a look. I don't know how long it's been like this. It's just completely collapsed. Crazy. Because the road used to run here. I can see it continuing on the other side. Wow. I'm gonna find a way around it.
with a fully loaded bike. to not go in the existing tracks. It's gone here too. Well, you must be really careful on this road because most of the time it's really well, almost brand new tarmac it seems and then out of nowhere this happens and here suddenly comes a green valley wow it's amazing I was doubting if this water was real. I was like, is this another illusion? But no, there's water here. I feel like I must really touch this water to see if it's real. <laughs>
no idea why there is suddenly is all this water flowing here because you can also see those trees are all flooded so it doesn't look like there is normally water here fascinating all right 200 city kilometers to go to Tichikia Tichikia Somebody walking with his camels <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. Thank you very much. Salam alaikum. Yaklebez. Hmm? I go Tichikcha. Moto. Maybe I see. ahead. Okay. Au revoir. village oh well actually not that small it's probably town here Tava et vous see anyone hurting them but a big group like that will definitely not be alone I have arrived in Tidiksha pretty cool right they have these street lights with solar power anyway I'm first gonna look for fuel immediately because they regularly uh, run out of fuel here so if they have I should I'm sure I can get it. It's supposed to be a total station somewhere. Oh, here. Total. Total. This one? Total. The T is upside down, but that's okay. Essence? Wait here. Oh, I'll come back later. There's nobody home. Auberge. Stay here. Let's see if there's no place 
Jesus. Is there any essence here? Uh, sounds, no. no. No fuel today. I knew that was a, a possibility. So I have to wait then till tomorrow, I suppose. Let's find a place to stay which looks a bit better <laughs> than the place I rocked up just now. There's another place in town. Oh, hi there. Salam alaikum. All right, I found a place to stay for tonight. This is my room. It's one of those little huts. And then I even have an attached bathroom here. And so, yeah, I was already concerned a little bit about fuel here, uh, but I had reliable information that only one, no, is it now two days ago, that there was fuel in that total station. So I was like, okay, I'm sure I can get some there. But now it seems to have run out. So I now just spoke with the owner of this guest house and he's making some phone calls because when the gas station runs out, there's always someone with a bidon. <laughs> you can buy it from some plastic container somewhere. Uh, it's not ideal, but I don't really have another choice. Almost every car in Mauritania runs on gas oil or diesel and just there's just no petrol cars around I, di I did see some uh, motorbikes in this place it's actually the first time i think i've seen motorbikes or did i see them in noadi i can't remember mauritania is not a motorcycle country um so i did see a few motorcycles but cars will all run on diesel so that's why it's really hard to find petrol around this country but anyway fingers crossed <laughs> that somebody will rock up with a plastic container that they can buy uh, petrol from because from here to the next petrol station, assuming then, then that one we'll have is like 350 kilometers and I'm not gonna make that. So other than that, I had a good day. It was stunning scenery and uh, it was kind of a bit weird to ride on tarmac <laughs> all day, but it was beautiful. Like, wow, it's just amazing scenery and the, the green valleys and the oasis and the mountains, it was really beautiful. So I enjoyed it. Uh, I made it just before three o'clock here. So I managed pretty okay with the heat and I made good progress towards the border with Senegal. I'll show you on both the maps that I now have uh, where I am and where I went today. This is the loop that I rode with Ahmed and then we ended in Chingeti. And then I rode, this is Meherith, that's that first oasis. So I went, I think, no, yeah, I went like this, like this, and then through Meherith, and then I continued here, I think, onto the paved. And then I continued south. That road's not even indicated on this map. Anyway, I am now here in Chichikia. And over here is the border with Senegal. So I'm only one day riding away from Senegal now. So on that note, that was it for today. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below and then I'll see you in the next video.